Welcome back to the 215. Brilliant, as we learned, <laughs> art can be on any surface. Absolutely, and now you have a, a permanent souvenir from That's the tiny right. room for elephants. But most of the artists said, Mike, we need a flatter surface. Well, yeah, <laughs> so you see all these walls that these artists are painting on yep. behind us and whatnot. They need to come from somewhere, and what's better than painting on a wall made by Phil Wall? I design and install custom woodwork. Describe Phil. I can't, I can't describe Phil. I mean, yeah, he's a carpenter. He's, he's a woodsmith. He's all that. But he's an artist. Mm -hmm. It's like I'm not the artist, but I'm the guy that lets the artist get their thing done. And they're very happy with my panels because I get compliments all night long from the artist. Everybody loves Phil. Everybody loves Phil, period. I mean, I can tell you numerous stories, but just everybody loves Phil because he makes, he sets the scene. We're building 54 10 by, 10 by 6 uh, frame canvases for the artist. The room is 24 foot by 24 foot by 24 foot. Three walls that create a U-shape. Our first year was in a warehouse on 5th and Germantown uh, on the second floor. So we had to take all these materials up the elevator. We built the project and they had the show in the warehouse. Then we moved over to the box school and we had the auditorium there. And that's where we built the panels. We had the wall already, but we still build 24 panels. What's the biggest challenge in this particular job, getting this tiny room game up and running? So I'm a one-man band with my truck and tools, and I'm used to doing everything with these hands. My biggest challenge is taking this and putting it in those hands. Listen. What, why we? Why we? <laughs> I need to get this straight. My cuts were good. To you. He's a perfectionist. You know what, Mike? I'm sure it's tough for him because you know he'll do this in his backyard and show up with everything on his back, you know, and pulling a cart full of screws. Now we're putting panels against the walls upstairs in the hallway in this empty room over here. Uh, we're gonna make a structure in the back there that'll create a cube so they could have four panels hanging there. So it grows every year. Right. It gets bigger. They get more artists, uh, and it's phenomenal. I love this gig. When you see that artwork go up on top of your creation. Oh, that's, that just makes me feel so good inside. It's great on the opening night because all the artists that came in and do the work, they hear the Phil stories that go on around here, and all of a sudden I pop in the door to check the place out and everybody knows who I am. And it's like, wow, <laughs> I, I'm, I'm not gonna remember everybody's name, but... But you're the rock star. Beautiful thing. It's, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm a rock star when I come in on the opening night, for sure. That's it stuff. feels so good. The artist, Tame, is painting on one of Phil Wall's walls. It's abstract, but you see the elephant, don't you? Well, 